Ah, uh, Book of Lies, you're here. Good, good. Are you ready to finally get the concept of eternity? Yep. That means you're going to anti-universe slash multiverse. Be prepared, Michael, as there's a place where things aren't like our reality. Your body won't be used to it, so you'll need to mentally prepare yourself as much as possible. Being there will almost rip you apart. Luckily, you've gained a lot of things in your time that should help you survive, but be careful, Michael. I will be, Book of Lies. So you're going to show me the location, reveal the location? Yes, I might as well. Here you are. Wait, this location, it looks like the card castle from Deltarune. Yeah, it may resemble the card castle, but um, is so that you realize more. Maybe even things you've forgotten. Things I've forgotten. Yeah, again, time paradoxes. Yeah, I know, the time paradox, the two alternate timelines. Wait, I learnt about the true nature of the abyss, and how did I forget that? How did I... And... I met, oh my god, I met Connor's, like, demons. How did I forget that? Things can be forgotten through time, especially when time is fractured. Yeah. Oh. I can't believe it. I, I forgot all that. Yeah, indeed, Michael. But you'll realize something else once you get to the dark fountain. Something that you should have seen before, but you'll finally see it once you reach there. Alright, Book of Lies. But you may go now to the castle. It's very fitting that it's a place that, you know, is technically a, another realm, the realm of darkness, at least in the context of Daltaroon. It, it's like another realm, a switch point between, you know, dark and light, the two sides of the coin, you know. So, yeah, it's fitting, but, um, you can go now, Michael. All right, Book of Lies. I guess I'll see you when I get back. Indeed, Michael. And then, finally, you can form the piece, the first piece of the key, the first heart once you're back but uh yeah go ahead and teleport now michael yep i'm gonna teleport to the castle oh man all right i'm here at the castle oh man that's a fountain of darkness seemingly with purple energy Energy of enigmas and anomalies. Huh. I guess the truth will be revealed of what I need to see when I get up there, but I feel like something's about to appear. Oh. Hello there. Hello there, Michael. Who are you? I am the angel of the living light. The living light. 
so the living light finally shows its hand in this game. Yes, indeed. And we know you almost completed the first half of the key. The key to defeating the living darkness, but also the living light. We understand that both sides are anomalous and weren't ever supposed to exist in the way they are right now and that the living darkness threatens the very balance of the world. But I cannot let you proceed because once you completed this side of the coin it's not long before the other you tries to complete his half of the key. So for the fate of the living light, I will not let you pass. You must be, let me see, the one that has darkness within it. You are the living light being that has a small increment of darkness in it. Yes indeed, I'm the original angel of the living light. And it's my duty to do what the rest of the living light will not do. Because the living light only protects, it does not attack. It only defends. It never provokes, it never causes chaos or harm like darkness, but you're the one that is the exception, indeed. We can be allies, you're, you could be my ally, I'm sorry Michael, but I've made my choice, despite how bad the darkness is, the living light still respects it and it respects its ability to live because it understands why it does what it does. But I don't think you understand the true origins of darkness, not yet anyway. What do you mean? Maybe you learnt it once, back with the Dark One, but I may have only told you what you needed about the Abyss and the Void and everything else about the Living Darkness, but I probably did not tell you the reason why Darkness fights. No, I don't think he did. Then I am correct in my assumption that you do not truthfully understand the living darkness. And you may never understand because I will not let you live to fight another day, Michael. This is your end. Right here, right now, before you realize what is coming and realize the key to our destruction, both the living light and the living darkness. So I'm sorry, Michael, but this ends right here. Please join me. I'm sorry, Michael. I've made my choice. Now let our bow commence. Oh god. Wow, that's insulting. It is true though, Michael. You are by spec compared to light and darkness. Wow. An imperfection to be cleansed? That's rather rude. I'm sorry, Michael. 
But you are risking everything. You are fast by me. I will s defeat you. Love. Devils may cry because of me. I mean, I defeated the Scarlet King and Queen. I'm sorry, Michael, it has to be this way. Oh god, ow! You will fall, Michael! This is a battle of immortals. And that will only be the light. But what is your definition of light? Well, other than it being perfection, is the balance that currently exists. I know the darkness is gaining more power, but there's nothing that can be done. The cracks in the world are caused because of you and your actions. And you're not even mortal. How can you say that? How can you say that I'm not mortal? Well, it is because you are just a being of mortal, even with your normal sand and enigma powers, you aren't complete like light and dark. And I know an age of darkness is coming because of the cracks. The cracks again that you caused. How? How did I cause it? I was just doing everything to save the world. But by defeating the Scarlet Queen, you led her to cause an action, an action where you made her split the world. You are a mere object, Michael. You are nothing. Wow. And your actions have led to the two alternate universes. Cracking the world. Cracking everything. You cause cracks everywhere. You made this. I did not make this. It was my mother's actions. Wow, my crime is existence indeed. You should not exist. None of this should exist. But then maybe it's not entirely your fault as well. After I defeat you, I will go cleanse the book of lies. The Book of Lies is also responsible for your creation. And then once the Book of Lies is gone, I will have to try and find a way to the real world so that I can cleanse the final imperfection patrolling our life, being your creator. A machine? Why do you call me a machine? Because you're a cog in the machine. You just fall blindly on a path to save the world, but yet you cause destruction. 
But you want to defeat Orange? I mean, go on to you, because even though I technically defeated him, he couldn't be fully defeated unless I defeated him in the real world. Yes, true. But I will take him out. I will defeat Orange. I might not like Orange and his control over my life, but at least, you know, he created me and probably has a level of respect for me. And I couldn't really see that. I guess so, Michael. But either way, you are gone. You will be defeated. I don't even think your powers are holding up, Angel of the Living Light. What is your name anyway? Well, my name once was Gabriel. What? How can this be? Best by this... this thing? Wow. You insignificant fuck! This is not over! Wow. Indeed it is not. Wow. But yeah, before I completely fade, the name's Gabriel. And I'm the judge of hell. And I deem you for hell. I'll be back for you, Michael. One way or another. God damn. Okay. Darkness portal. Poor darkness, well, fountain of darkness. A living darkness. Like, I said, like, when I went to Delta Brun, how much I thought it was like, oh, living darkness. But n now I'm now looking into it. Oh my god, the eyes in the legend. Yes, now looking back. Oh my god. The eyes, eyes of darkness, the living darkness. Because if I'm correct in my assumptions right now, I the other me will soon begin collecting everything. They'll first probably get the concept of death. Then probably also the mask of the anti-multiverse while they're there. And uh, at least they already have the one named alternate Axor Zael secured, oh, and then, then it'll only be a matter of time before they get the darkness clicker. Yeah. They can easily complete the, the, their key, so then it's only a matter of us to joining up again. Joining up, I don't know where yet, but I have a feeling like that answer will reveal itself soon enough. But, oh my. Oh, my head is spinning. But th this reveals so much, yet 
so low at the same time. I, I need to find the portal though. Hopefully it's this way. But yeah, I I think soon I'll find my answers. Wow. Rainbow like rainbow like each of the things the hiss the um living control being orange the and the hiss being red um living um the living life being green a uh, living l um, yellow, or living sunshine, the living abyss, or the living blue, um, and then finally, the living anomalies slash enigmas, the living purple, purple being the color of anomalies and enigmas, this is the gateway, the gateway to that realm, the anti-multiverse, and what surrounds me, this darkness, is both the void and the abyss in a suit, but mainly the abyss. The closest point, the closest switchover point between my world, my existence, and the anti-universe slash multiverse, the anti-existence. Alright, time to go through, but yeah, soon enough I feel like I'll oh, know, but somehow the key, both parts of the key, it won't be enough. It won't be enough. The, the darkness, the living darkness is hidden inside a prison. It's hidden somewhere else as well. Multiple prisons. The abyss was one. The place where it was originally born. But there's maybe another and the fact that I feel like eventually I'm going to return to Alan Wake as well yeah I'm going to return to Alan Wake I think at some point my bow is definitely not over with the living darkness even if I collect the pieces here and the alternate timeline and combine the keys it won't be enough to fully defeat darkness. The living darkness fight will not be over. But at least I can defeat it for a small time. Also noir. It may be still in noir. Noir is going to be important for something else as well. I feel it. I'll return to noir at some point. Anyway. I better go through before it closes or something, I don't know. But yeah, time to head through. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh. oh, I feel weird. My vision. Oh god, my vision. Oh. My head. Oh. Well, I think I'm here. I'm in the anti universe. Anti. Multiverse, anti-existence, or whatever. I guess I'll start exploring. Uh, oh. This is an odd room. Odd. I. Angels. And balloons. And, uh. Birthday cake? These balloons are kind of like. Party goer. Balloons. Yeah. Hmm. 
so I know something, but maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks with me. Anyway, I better move along. Alright. Uh, my head is killing me. Feels like I'm dying. I guess I'll investigate these doors. What the heck? This place is certainly odd. Oh, not a door. Mushrooms. And statues. Odd. Okay. The concept of attorney has to be around here somewhere. Exit door, I won't go through that. What's in here then? This is odd. Hmm, didn't seem like there was much to it. What about in here? An eye. Edward the eye? That you? I miss my bye, Edward. Alright. Pool. Oh. Dived into a pool. Alright. Darkness. Oh. Mushrooms. With eyes? How odd. Uh, and what's over here? Church. Nothing in the church really other than the goblin coffin. Right, time to head out. Alright. Uh, an empty half guard. Hello there. Hello there, Michael. Wait a second. Me? But I can sense you're not me. Are you alternate, Michael? The alternate timeline, Michael? Yes, indeed, Michael. How are you here? Well, time doesn't work in the same way as our existence here. Yeah, yeah. Odd things happening. Why are you looking at... I don't know. I don't see anything. Maybe it's just my mind. I don't know, but... Yeah. Ah... Uh, uh, Michael, you're finally here, where we both need to go to get our respective pieces. But since things are kind of working in reverse here, you have to go in the hole first, because it seems like darkness happens, then light happens, and normal reality as shown by you know the prophecy oh yeah it was darkness then light and it worked that way for dimentio he got the dark prognosticus then the light one but here it's kind of opposite um it's 
light than dark. So, yeah, you have to go through first so that you can get the concept of eternity and then I'll head in after and uh, I'll get the concept of death. I see you, all of me. Well, uh, good luck, other me. Um, I, I'm gonna go now. Yep, good luck, um, me. Yep, see you later. All right, down into this hole. Oh, it's dark in here, like the void. But there's a doorway. Okay. Oh, here it is. The concept of eternity. And for some reason above what looks like an oil pump. But nice. Finally got it. Now I just need to get out of here. I guess I can teleport to the exit. Alright, teleport back. Okay, time to get out of here. Oh man, this place is odd, but I finally have the last piece of the puzzle. Exit door. There he is, now heading to the exit. How oh, Michael is so blind. Blind to everything. Always in his box. Always just a little bit behind everyone else. Oh, this looks like possibly an exit of sorts. I might as well head through but very soon now all right so chair with a teacup will be our appointed meeting oh a fountain a oh, nice fountain uh, that's down here then just wait michael oh portal i guess uh Head through the portal. Just you wait. Whoa! I'm back. Back in reality. Michael's now back. Back to his good old family. Hey, how are you two going? Good, Michael, but who's that? Who's that? I don't see anyone. I swear I just saw a person back there. I'll, I'll investigate. No one's here. Huh, how odd. But welcome back, my god. Thank you, Jimmy. I've done it. I have the final piece. Do you have... The other two things, book of lies. Yes, I have the rainbow clicker and the mask of the multiverse with me. Nice, nice. Well, then let us begin it. Let's create it. All right. Focus your energy, Michael. Focus your energy, Jimmy. And I shall help too. All right. Oh my. We've created it. We've created the first half of the key. But now you realize the truth, Michael, that it might not be enough. Yes, indeed. God damn it. Yes, but we can assure a temporary victory once the other you has uh, his half of the key. How long do you think it'll take for him? I don't know. But one thing is for certain is that 
you two will need to meet up in the anti universe, multiverse, whatever, when you both have your half of the key complete, then finally the living darkness and the living light can be defeated, even if it is only temporary. Yeah, it's unfortunate that it might not be a permanent victory, but at least we're a little bit closer now. But the other you is about to have a sort of tragic moment. What's going to happen to the other me? Unfortunately, he's going to have to have a sacrifice of sorts. Luckily, not too bad, but still a sacrifice nonetheless. Alright. Why is it? Can you tell me? I may tell you later, but for now, this is a victory. Yes, indeed, Book of Lies. Oh, man. I can't believe it. We're closer to winning this war. Indeed. But I'm going to tell Plav here, Book of Lies, Jimmy. Yep. By my god. Yeah. Oh man, it's crazy. But yeah, I guess now I just have to show some patience and wait for the other me. But yeah, time to tell Paul Alfie. God damn.